Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with DR Holistic Killer, AKA Sonia B. I am back with a quick intuitive message. This is an intuitive message and not a prophetic message. Um, for those of you who do not know, I am an intuitive clairvoyant Hayoka empath who receives divine prophetic dream messages. Um, so for those of you who, um, yeah, so for those of you who are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. And for those of you who are returning back, I wanna say welcome back. So keep in mind that these energies could be happening right now at this present moment. So I just wanted to come on basically and tell you guys that some of you guys could be experiencing a situation of where you probably woke up either this morning or if you're not feeling it this morning, you could possibly feel it again. As I said before, it depends on, you know, your um, whereabouts on a planet, should I say. But anyway, with all that being said, um, some of you guys may find yourself, the, the message actually the message thank you spirit the message that i did the other day when i was talking about i think there was being an um what was it the, 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 the slow down sonia the star of david where we was talking about the star of david or the protection symbol you know in every in 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 different religious practice that symbol represents something different so i don't necessarily want to say i guess it's the star date but anyway so again in a cult or you know christian or islam or whatever the case may be that that symbol is going to represent something different for everybody else but anyway so basically we was talking about how there was like a coming together between the energies of like the heavens well, um, the earth as well as the almost like the I don't want to necessarily say heaven is like where air and, and, and earth kind of, kind of, um, they're basically integrating into each other, becoming one. So I want to say all that to say that I basically, I noticed the energy that was in the air this morning, should I say, was a, a matter of, some of you guys probably experienced a situation where you felt like your equilibrium was off um, when you got up this morning or whatever the case may be. Uh, keep that in mind. That's a lot to do with what I was talking about the other day when I was talking about that whole integration of um, that. Uh, oh, God. What was it? What was it? Let me see. Because I don't want to confuse you guys. It was that masculine and thank you spirit it was that masculine and feminine energy that was coming together thank you spirit okay anyway i can't find it i could find it if i really wanted to but i can't right now but anyway um so with all that being said you should have probably you're probably going to feel and if some of you have not felt this yet you will feel it but it's going to be like an integration it's almost like your masculine and your feminine energy are kind of in intertwining to each other so it's trying to balance itself and it's trying to get itself you know it's almost again it's like a coming together like the masculine and the feminine energy you know but again remember the triangle was there's an upside down one and then there was one that was upright that's the whole integration of it be trying to become one so if you find yourself feeling like you feel off-centered or you feel like you just your equilibrium is off it has a lot to do with that but i will also say too if this should persist i don't want you to just think that it has something to do with the the upgrade that your body is receiving um but if it persists should i say because i'm not a medical doctor but if it should persist and it keeps going on and on some of you may find yourself having a hard time with trying to integrate that energy and it's just a matter of everybody's gonna Everybody may, what I'm hearing is everybody may integrate that energy a little differently, should I say. So I say all that to say, uh, yeah, I say all that to say, you're going to have to figure out a way to try to, you know, integrate that energy yourself, you know, again. But if you, you should get to the point that your ego liberal is too far off and to the point that you know you find yourself you know tipsing over or whatever please seek medical help love yourself enough to go get some sort of help and even though it may come from out of nowhere because what i'm hearing is the doctor may not even understand what's going on or what's taking place because you have to understand in this physical world sometimes doctors don't understand unless this is a doctor what i'm hearing who honestly understands that the physical and the spiritual world goes hand in hand together so with that being said it could be a situation of 
you know, um, you just have to be mindful of that too, because it could be a situation of, you know, people want to start running the tests and do all this other stuff and all that other stuff. And again, do what's best for you. But I say all that to say that everybody's going to integrate that energy just a little different, um, you know, just a little different because I know the energy is going to come like what? Like it's going to catch you off guard, should I say. So I just wanted to basically say, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you haven't already experienced it and just kind of make you aware of it. But more importantly than anything, if you are someone who knows how to ground yourself, try grounding yourself first um, with, uh, if that should happen. Um, yeah. But again, as I said before, I'm not a medical doctor, although I am, you know, a Reiki master or whatever the case may be. Again, this is totally different because I don't want to give anybody uh, any medical advice, but I will definitely say this, uh, seek professional help, you know, if you should need to, you know, healthcare if you need to, but anyway, so I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. I just wanted to come on here and say that real quick, but I also wanted to address someone who had actually made a comment to like, and thank you for the comments. And, uh, this is no shade to you, but you know, I'm actually, uh, I guess you had a question. Well, it wasn't so much a question. It was kind of like a question, but I guess, you know, whatever. Anyway, this is no target to you. So I say this in all much love and much light. I say all that to say, yes, every life matters. Every life matters. Everyone, every, every life matters. Okay. We all got a purpose here on earth, but I will say this also too. Thank you, spirit. I will also say this too, that, um, I made the comment in a couple of videos while I was talking about different races and this was not a attack on another race or whatever the case may be. It's not coming from a place of hate. You have to understand that my walk for this last, let me, let me say this. Divine Spirit of Light had showed me some information in my dream and then, and then I had started, and this was some time ago, probably like last year or just basically trying to show me and tell me what it was that I was going to be going through and who it was going to be with. Unfortunately, some of the people that I've been having to deal with who have kind of like showed up as like hidden enemies, and I'm not going to just say it's just them too, because sometimes it's some of your own people too, and people that are close to you, um, you know, whether it be family members, whether it be a spouse or, you know, whether it be, you know, whatever the case may be, but I say all that to say, I've had experienced that as well too. But what I want you to know is most of the, and, and honestly, these people who are relatives and stuff already knew that because I know one particular relative, I always kept saying to, I'm not your enemy. I'm not your enemy because they kept making it seem like, like they were targeting me as if I was their enemy. And I kept telling them, I am not your enemy. I am not your enemy because that's not just even how I roll, you know? Because I believe in settling differences before going down, you know, before, you know, as God said, don't let the sun go down on, you know, your anger or whatever the case may be. In other words, don't go to bed with uh, unresolved issues or whatever the case may be. But for me, you know, a lot of times I've had to deal with the... Oh, I was like, what does that smell? <laughs> I forgot I was cooking something. But anyway, so I say all that to say that I've been having to deal with something from... And, and take it... If we take the international part out of it or people from different races, what it is is I've just noticed that it is a certain group of people who are involved with certain practices. Thank you, spirit, that are involved with certain practices. And I say all that to say, unfortunately, sometimes it shows up in another race. And again, I'm not saying that it just applies to other race, but they are from other different regions. So I say all that to say that, you know, it's showing up as if it makes it seem like if, as if I'm referring to like other races as being, you know, like, uh, I have an issue with them. Cause that's not the case because what I'm hearing is there's good and bad in everything. And remember, it's kind of like not really, well, I'm just going to say good and bad for right now to help you understand. There's good and bad in everything. Hell, I'll say, even say, even within the religious, uh, not religious, the spiritual community. Uh, one thing I've definitely noticed is there is good and bad in there as well, too, from, from what I see. And I say all that to say, because I've experienced on my journey, I've experienced so much uh, I've seen people practicing witchcraft. I've seen people manipulating and trying to uh, deceive people and and trying to um, 
it's your it's, it's people's intentions because i know i did a video on this some time ago too it's people's intentions if your intentions aren't good and they aren't pure of heart in other words i say all that to say god is not going to go around here doing witchcraft on people so this is the point i'm trying to make he's not going to go around here doing witchcraft on people god is not going to go around here and um you know and try to look to see what blessings that you know other people have or what other people are doing you know god is not going to go around here and 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 say oh you know i can't stand that person because they're about to receive this or they're about to receive that or you know god god doesn't have hatred stored up in his heart is what i'm trying to say in other words what i'm trying to say is if people and <laughs> what i'm hearing in the back of my mind if people learn to mind their mother father business you know everything would be much better and i say all that to say if you start worrying about what you can get from another person or what this person has going on in their life or what this person is about to receive and just allow god to work in your life you know everything in the world will probably be a much better place i say all that to say without trying to manipulate somebody without not trying to be condescending and try to befriend people and act like you're their friend or you know um or just trying to tap into their uh, spiritual energy and what God is, uh, what spirit is also showing me too right now is like, you know, there are people who psychically spy. And I say all that to say, if you guys had watched that movie that I kind of like uh, said that if you watch that movie, you know, you'll get a, a glimpse of what people are capable of doing. That's why it's so important to stay um, prayed up spiritually and have that spiritual connection with God. And I say all that to say, because He's going to direct you and show you exactly how to block out these enemies and keeping them from having access to your home to like, you know, lurking eyes is what they kind of call them. Like being able to come into your home spiritually and see exactly what it is that you're doing um, behind the scenes. And I mean, it's, it's so real. And one thing I did not learn is, and I had to learn this on this journey too. And I learned this a couple of years ago, like, you know, all these things that we see in movies you know, and at first I was like, nah, but then as, you know, and when I was like, nah, and then it's like, God took me on a little journey as I was like, nah, that ain't true. That ain't true. And I started to, you know, started to see it. And I say all that to say, because as I said before, the movie, um, I mean, not the movie, the show, uh, once upon a time, you know, my daughter was trying to get me to watch that some years ago, but as I said before, I wasn't ready for it at that time, but some, you know, we just finished that up back in like January sometime whatever and i say all that to say we went through all the seasons and i was like oh my god when i started watching once upon a time from the very beginning until the end everything that was going on 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 that show especially the old you guys who are on like that twin flame journey very good show to watch i know it's like a little fairy tale and people's like oh my god like don't believe that stuff like seriously if you watch it it's just like it, it will give you an eye open. It's like, oh my God, like these are the things that I'm experiencing. You experience people trying to sabotage your relationship with your other half, you know, your, uh, the person you were meant to be with. It, it was always something and someone always showing up, you know, trying to sabotage it or just know that you were meant to be together, but they didn't want you to be together. It was always something, you know, um, and it was always something. So I say all that to say for those of you who are and you know for sure that you are actually on that twin frame journey and you know that it's not an easy journey. It's not it's not the same journey as having like a soulmate. I'm talking about the spiritual connection, you know, where you feel the things that they feel and, you know, uh, you able to communicate with each other telepathically. And not everybody's going to probably have that gift, but you know, a lot of twins, they have that spiritual, spiritual connection, but you know, maybe, maybe everybody does not have that telepathic, you know, maybe everyone who is part of the twin flame, uh, what I'm hearing is everyone may not have those exact same gifts meaning like some may have more gifts than others or whatever but it just depends on who you are but i say all that to say it was an eye opener for me because one thing i started to realize like more the things that i watch now it's like i told you guys that we're actually watching went back to watch because i knew this show was funny like back in the day like uh what is it the mark cooper show 
I think that's what it's called, Mark Cooper. Anyway, uh, the comedian or whatever. So we, me and my kids are watching it. Oh my God, it's so hilariously funny. We've been cracking up laughing the whole time. But I say all that to say, we're right here on the episode, right as, you know, people are starting to, um, as that masculine, that feminine energies uh, coming together, should I say. But it's where people are, thank you, Spirit, is where people are starting to find their matches, should I say. People who are their lifelong partners, people who are they are meant to be with. And speaking of such, thank you, Spirit, because I didn't know where I was going with this. But I say all that to say, um, I, I hear messages through music today, too. Uh, not today. I hear messages through music, okay? It's like God speaks to me through music as well, too. So I say all that to say, uh, the energy that was also in the air, because not only do some of you, or possibly may feel, if you haven't felt it yet, feeling the equilibrium being a little off is because that energy is kind of intertwining again with each other or integrating, as some people say, intertwining, trying to settle, you know, just imagine to... A soul trying to come back into its body and it's trying to center itself back to where it was you know rather than being a little off but i say all that to say today i heard this song and i remember this song like from back in the day but for some particular reason it got my attention because i have not heard it in a while when i'm driving in my car a lot of times i listen to classical music you know especially if there's nothing playing on the radio because i think it's a lot of bs you know that plays on the radio nowadays and i'm just like oh my god like I like when they play the old school music or whatever the case may be. I can relate more to that. It, it has meaning to it, should I say. But th that's what I relate to. And I'm not knocking the people who do like this new stuff or whatever the case may be. But I say all that to say, Billy Ocean came on. Um, it's called Caribbean King. Excuse me, Queen. Caribbean Queen. Was it Caribbean Queen? I think it was Caribbean Queen. And then for some particular reason, God was trying to get me to listen to the messages because I remember the song, but I didn't exactly remember exactly all of the words. So I have this app called Shazam on my phone. <laughs> so I Shazammed it and it pulls up the lyrics or whatever. So I say all that to say, um, it, there was a couple of things that stood out in the song and I'm not going to play it, but, but, uh, Yeah, if you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put the title down in the description box so you guys can take and listen to the song yourself. It has a lot of meaning. So some of you guys are in these uh, spiritual connections, relationship, not in them yet. They're, it starts with a coming together first and then slowly but shortly you're going to start to see where it's heading should i say and it starts with yourself first your feminine your masculine energy you know within you that is integrating first and then all of a sudden your actual i'm just telling you i absolutely have no idea what i'm saying i'm just telling you what i'm being told so i say all that to say that actual person that you were meant to be with the physical body the archetype that actual person it's almost like there's going to be like a coming together should i say where in some cases they're going to be a separation with some with some people what i'm hearing is they're going to be some separations going on as well as some coming together taking place so just pay attention and um pay attention to your surroundings and pay attention to those people who are already in relationships and watch to see how they uh start turning out should i say and um just things that are happening in people's life um and i i don't wish any ill will on anybody i'm just telling you what i'm hearing but um so yes i is that is Barry. so yeah but anyway i'm gonna leave this song in the description box so you might want to google the lyrics or whatever and uh just listen to the lyrics because that's actually actually what's taking place now because your other half it's almost like they're being woken up to the truth of the matter of no more running no more uh just no more running you just listen to it for yourself anyway i'm gonna pull a couple of cards before i go I got something on the stove. What message do you want to give the collective? What message do you have for the collective that is a pure white light and pure unconditional love only? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. What message do you have for the collective that is a pure white light and pure unconditional love only? 
What message do we have that is a pure white light and pure unconditional love only? This is like the and this is a confirmation, y'all. I'm just telling you because this is like the second time this has happened. Like I see spirit is showing me like the information that I'm giving, and you always hear me say thank you, spirit, because that's giving me confirmation of a uh, beautiful daughter. Can you do me a favor and check that stuff on the stove, please? Because I hear it. Anyway, giving me confirmation through these notifications. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Any more messages? Any more messages, Spirit? Thank you. Some of you guys have the light being shined in, in those dark places where you've been kind of sitting. And it's almost like, it's almost like what I'm hearing is almost like a revelation. I don't know who needs to hear that or a revelation being revealed is what I'm hearing. cards are really really big for my hands y'all so bear with me and for those of you who do not know i'm not a tarot card reader i'm just uh i'm giving you these cards as an inspiration to just kind of to read a, to um to go alongside the information that i'm giving thank you spirit <laughs> so funny that i just said that too thank you spirit you own time you're so good anyway the first card is courage I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So whatever you guys been kind of like just having in those, having those, um, sitting in the dark, just going back and forth with thinking the same old negative thoughts or the same replaying what I'm hearing is replaying over and over again, the, the, the same drama, the past drama that you guys have dealt with, you know, mistakes that you've made or, you know, things, uh, making choices that you thought was that you thought was going to lead you in a direction that you wanted to go in but you realizing that it didn't lead you to those places so <laughs> thank you spirit <laughs> um so i say all that to say that uh you guys uh yeah you just being woke up to the truth anyway so divine spirit like basically wants you to have courage you know, as I said before, when you make one step, God is going to make two more steps. So it's totally up to you. You can make that. <laughs> thank you, spirit. <laughs> you can make that one step or you can just continue to just sit and feel what you have been feeling. But just know, just know this. What I'm hearing is just know if you choose to sit and not act in, in the act of courage, just know, just know that, as I said before, thank you spirit you heard that right just know that god is just going to turn up the heat a little bit more and make you very uncomfortable to the point that you move so he's giving you that opportunity to move on your own and if you're choosing not to move and you're choosing to sit because you're not because you're not choosing to stand step step up to the plate should i say and have courage just know that he's going to make it very uncomfortable for you. So the other two cards are perception. The frequency of perception supports our natural uh, curiosity, moving us beyond our... I just said this. <laughs> I just said, thank you, spirit. Moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edge of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it. So let me read it one more time. Perception. 
The frequency of perception supports our natural <clears throat> curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zones to find the edge of what we perceive as real and to take a good, excuse me, a good, hard, deep look at it. I'm going to say, as those tarot card readers say, <laughs> you can't make this up. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, so anyway, I say all that to say the second card is ro romantic love. And I just said that it was like an integration of coming together with your your inner masculine and feminine energy before your other counterpart, you know, comes in. So leave it shortly. Once you integrate your feminine and masculine energy together, that's when your counterpart is going to. You're going to find your counterpart end up coming in, you know, soon after that, should I say. That's what, at least that's what I'm hearing. I'm, when I say soon, I'm not probably talking about today or tomorrow. So what I'm hearing is too, don't put expectations on the time. Just know that it's going to happen, in other words. Because when you're sitting there thinking about the time and constantly keep thinking about it, it's almost like you make it longer for it to happen. So what I'm hearing is release control. Hold on, y'all. I got to sneeze again. Oh, my God. Like... <laughs> excuse me <laughs> it's like the fifth time now anyway so what i'm hearing is release control and release um release the concept of timing should i say release the concept of timing anyway romantic love the frequency of romance love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experiences with a reflection of a conscious lover let me read it one more time romantic love the frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with a reflection of a conscious lover boom so i hope that message was helpful and oh thank you spirit i hope that message was helpful for you guys and to go back to the comment that i was making that when somebody made a comment and said that i thought that we all that we all were the same we we all are a child of God. Yes, we are. But there are some people, and this is no shade to those people who choose not to. Um, let's just say I'll use the Ten Commandments as a as an example. For those people, let's just say there's a group of people out there, and it doesn't matter the color, the race, or you know the color of their skin tone. So it, that that's irrelevant. It's just a matter of, as I said before, there's good and evil in all things. So I say all that to say it's your intentions behind what you do. So in other words, if God said, if you love me, thank you, Spirit. God said, if you love me, you will follow my commandments. So I say all that to say for those people out there who who do do things that they know, one, if somebody was doing it to them, they wouldn't like it. In other words, uh, somebody had lurking eyes or trying to, you know, spiritually tap into somebody else's energy. Yes. Again, we all have spiritual gifts. Yes. But as I said before, like myself, I don't go and I don't set any intentions before I go to bed. Well, one thing I know is that just. Uh, I don't set any type of intentions on receiving information from. Well, should I say I don't receive I don't go to bed and how can i say it in other words there are some people who sit there they chant they do whatever their little rituals are in order to gain access to other people's energy so i say all that to say that and i'm not saying this for people to try to do this because remember that it's your intentions behind what you're doing if you seek an information just trying to see what other people are doing and your intentions aren't good just know that that's going to come back on you and I say all that, to, and that has been my experience, should I say, you know, whether it was with a neighbor or whether it was several neighbors in my neighborhood, that, that has been my experience. And these people have been people outside of my race. So it's not the fact that I have an issue with these people. I, well, excuse me. I do have a problem. My problem is I don't like when people do things, uh, that are manipulative and against people's will. And not only that, but I don't like people I, I don't care for people who misuse their power. Let me say that. And again, because I, I know that we all have spiritual gifts and some tend to misuse their power. That's why God said he didn't call the qualified. To me, people who are able to do that type of stuff, it's almost like they're qualified at what they're doing, but God didn't call them. 
he said he qualified the call in other words so i say all that to say that where some people may look at these people as being a professional and like oh my god like they they're real they're really good master at what they do their craft or whatever but yes but god didn't call them because one they misuse it and that's why it's so important because i did a video on this some time ago too that god wanted to know are you faithful are you going to be faithful to him is he going to give you power to the point that are you going to misuse it can he trust you that's what he wants to know he wants to know are you going to go out here and try to manipulate somebody against their own free will because that's what some people do and that has been the experience you know before i realized when god took me through my whole spiritual training yes i look at them as teachers to me yeah they were teachers even though they weren't teachers that i wanted but it was teaching me lessons of one how to you know i prayed before but i didn't realize just how deep like you really have to you know when you have that connection with god god is going to lead you and guide you and show you exactly what it is that you need to do and your spiritual team that's around you and i'm not talking about the physical people that you can see i'm talking about the spirit the energies you know they're going to lead you and guide you and show you what you need to do in order to protect yourself protect your home and keep lurking eyes out of your home like i said there is something real when it, when i say that people people uh Psych, they're called uh psychic spies you know i say all that to say that again go watch that movie behind her eyes you will see it for yourself and you'll be like what the hell because when i saw that i was like oh my god like that that is so what i have been experienced i mean i already knew that i knew people did that but i am actually sharing that movie with you guys because my daughter actually shared it with me she was telling me about it at first and then you know i was just kind of like ah. but then i started to really listen to what she was saying and i was like okay let me watch this movie and i got really interested into it and you know for some of you guys are on this journey i don't know what, what stage you are on this journey but just know and believe that some of you guys are gonna find yourself experiencing situations to where you're gonna realize one you're gonna have a feeling like you feel like odds are on you but you're in your own home now but again it is true so like i said before these movies and stuff that they make out here believe them they are true you know um because what i think i found out was i think i heard somebody saying and i find it to be true that the universal law is people have to what is it the universal law is that people have to disclose what it is that they're doing so they do it in subtle ways that you don't know and they don't necessarily tell you but they're revealing to you through the movies but they don't necessarily tell you like hey yeah this really happens so i say all that to say i'm going to end it there um so yes does all life matter yes but did God say, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments? Yes. And unfortunately, and again, this is not me judging those who choose not to keep it. But just know that there's a hefty price for everything that you do. And when you don't follow God's commandments or, you know, I'm sure it probably say something in Islam. I'm sure it probably say something in Buddhism and, you know, all the different religions or whatever the case may be. Um, but I'm not going to say hand quote, but I, I say all that to say, um, yeah. So that was... Not that I needed to explain, but I figured I would just let you guys know for those of you who was wondering why I was talking about different race, because that had been my experience. God, again, I don't know if I finished this, but God had shown me where I was going to have to deal with a particular race and there was going to be some issues, but I was going to have to deal with them. And, um, and again, I don't have no ill will feelings towards them, but do I associate with them any longer? I do not. Do I, have I disconnect my energy and taken back my power? I have so, because as I said before, need I remind you, this is somebody who stays right next door to me. And then after doing what they were doing, they had the nerve to come outside and be like, good morning. And I'm looking at them like, seriously? God has revealed to me what you have been doing behind closed doors and you're going to really come out the door is, because see, that's what it was. What I'm hearing is she didn't even know that God had showed me what she was doing behind closed doors. But I say all that to say, and when I say he had revealed to me, he showed me what she was trying to do for us, you know, trying to do witchcraft, should I say. And I saw her in the middle of the act or whatever the case may be. And, you know, I spoke my truth, you know, even because remember, whatever happens in the spiritual world, as it says, up uh, as as above, so below. Whatever manifests in the, phys uh, the, the ethers or the spiritual realm, it manifests down here on earth. So when I give you these prophetic messages, just know that they're coming from the ethers and um, the spirit realm, as well as, you know, you start to see manifestation being act out here on earth. And I do want to say this too, before I go, because I know I had a, I told you guys about me having a dream about, I guess, a kid who was like, uh, I felt like a teenager or a young person who was like in their maybe like 
15, maybe 16 to 21 maybe and he was decided to go hang out at night and then I told you that it was like a task force team out there and I felt like they were shooting well I wouldn't have known this because I, like I said I don't watch TV and I well I watch TV I watch like Netflix and all that other stuff but I don't watch the news I don't even watch that stuff because I just don't I just don't I stopped watching it like three years ago I think it's like three years ago it'll be four years like in uh february i think it is anyway so i stopped watching the news but i say all that to say i did hear on the radio i think when i went out one day me and the kids um they was talking about i guess in dc that there was a shooting so i don't know exactly where these locations take place unless divine spirit of light had shows me where these events are taking places or the timing whether it's daylight or whether it's nighttime i do know that it was a nighttime event because uh it was dark um but nor can i give times unless divine spirit like gives me that actual detail but i say all that to say i did hear about there was like some shootings in uh dc i think it was um and i heard that on the radio so i was like oh my god like you know i didn't even realize it was like that bad or whatever because i remember like in the dream and i'm not even saying that was the location because it could have been somewhere else but i just knew that this was like a um an african-american uh like i said child from young young child young man however you want to refer to him um between the ages of 16 and 21 but anyway y'all i'm about to wrap this up because my son about to come through the door and he comes through the door he'll be making a whole bunch of noise with that basketball but anyway so i wish you all much love and much light and i hope this information was very helpful for you guys so just know that some of you guys uh if you have been trying to control your hearts I, I did a message on this some time ago too i said hearts are melting and that's probably been almost like about a month a month maybe two months ago or whatever but anyway so yeah some of you guys who have been trying to control the situation and trying to keep yourself busy and keep yourself occupied because you don't want to deal with the situation of um having to feel what love really feels like or to feel like to be vulnerable is what i'm hearing um hearts are melting anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I say much love, much life, peace and blessings. Bye.